All right, what is up? I am back for the 11th time. <laughs> I just got a new GoPro. So this is it, it's the Hero 9. I'm hoping that this will get me motivated to make more videos. It's been a little bit of a pain in the ass before with me making videos because I got to set up all the equipment and then take it all down because I don't really have a big office. So this little sucker is small. It doesn't take up a lot of room and hopefully I can just kind of leave it where it is and then I can make more videos. All right, so the topic today, offer up. So offer up, you're probably familiar with it. It's kind of like a Craigslist type of thing, but without the jobs and the classifieds and that sort of thing. And the um, people seeking other people. <laughs> so it doesn't have any of that. It's just for selling products, right? It's a phone app. They also have a desktop version. The desktop version is a little bit limited, but I wanted to do a video on offer up and not talk about the basics like a lot of videos do. I didn't want to talk about, you know, just how to basically post something. Hopefully you know, hopefully you can figure it out. If you can't, I'm sure somebody's made a video on it. What I'm gonna go over is I'm gonna go over a couple small tips and tricks and stuff that I do to sell a few extra items on OfferUp that I think helped me sell more items than I did before I didn't do this sort of stuff. So that's what we're gonna go over. Um, and then so real quickly before I forget like subscribe do all that sort of stuff that keeps me motivated if you make comments that helps too even if it's you know I like the video or video sucks or whatever it keeps me going so that way I, I don't feel like I'm just talking to thin air <laughs> so that would be awesome don't forget to subscribe I'm trying to grow the channel and eventually make the big bucks right <laughs> all right so offer up here's what I use it for I use it for getting rid of junk. I use it for getting rid of returns. I use it for getting rid of larger items that basically people can only pick up locally. And I also use it for stuff that is maybe a little saturated on eBay or saturated on you know Amazon or whatever. And by saturated, I mean there's like way too many sellers. And so that's what I use OfferUp for. Um, just for some quick flips, some cash, that sort of thing. So let's talk about real estate. <laughs> I don't mean like real estate, like house real estate. I mean real estate in the amount of room your image takes up on OfferUp when you post it. OfferUp, oddly enough, does not have a aspect ratio set for your photos. So you can actually make your photos take up way more room than some of the other people's out there with just a mm, little bit of change in how you crop the photo, that sort of thing. So let me kind of show you what I mean here. So we're gonna go over to my computer and I'm gonna show you how I post pictures to my listings so that they take up the maximum amount of real estate possible and the more real estate you take up, the more you're gonna be seen, the more sales you're gonna get, that sort of thing. So that's very important. So let's take a look at my computer here and I will show you what I do with the photos to make them larger on OfferUp. All right, so before we get started, I think it's important to show you where we're headed towards. So I always like to show you what the end result is and then I'll show you how I got there. So here's what we're going for. Let me type in Star Wars Inflatable into offer up. Oh man, that would be amazing if I could spell it right, right? How do you spell inflatable? Star Wars inflatable. There we go. That should be right, huh? Okay, so here are some listings when you type into offer up Star Wars inflatable. You see all these individual listings that come up of the different inflatables? And then you see this one off to the left? This one off to the left is mine. It's literally three times as tall as the other listings. It's just one listing though, so check it out. So when I click on it, granted I'm on the desktop version, so the phone version is gonna look a little different, but when I click on it, you'll see the photos at the top and everything looks normal. You know, you get to see all three photos and everything's good, but when we type it into the search, it is three times larger than everyone else. Now this is super important because you want to take up as much real estate as possible. So the biggest listing, somebody's bound to click on you. When you look at it on the phone, now we're gonna look at a screenshot of my phone here real quick. Let me pull it up. That's a screenshot of OfferUp on my phone. You can see how big it is, right? 
And so when people are looking at this, they don't know if they're clicking on one listing, two listings, three listings. They're just clicking on the photo that they like, but all anywhere they click on this is taking them to your listing. So that's what we're going after is we're going after big listings <laughs> because the bigger it is, the more likely people are to click on it. Okay, so let me show you how I do this. So the first place you wanna start is shooting square photos. That will take out some of the work from you. They'll go nicely together to make a slender image <laughs> that works best for this. So that's where you wanna start. And so I'll kind of show you here. When I take these photos, this is what they look like. They look like squares essentially. So to take a square photo without having to crop it, you actually need to change your aspect ratio in your, in your camera on your phone. Really easy to do. It sounds more complicated than it is. You'll wanna Google it depending on the phone you have and whatnot. But if you Google, you know, Android phone change, camera aspect ratio or just change camera aspect ratio and then put in the type of your phone. There's usually videos on how to do it. Um, if you got an Android, if you got an iPhone, it's real similar. A lot of times you just open up your camera, you go into settings and then you look for aspect ratio. And what you're looking for is you're looking for a one to one ratio. A one to one is a square ratio. And by one to one, it means it's 800 pixels wide and 800 pixels tall. That's all it means. So that's what you're looking for. So that will give you square photos. That's a good thing to do even on eBay. It saves cropping, right? Same thing on Amazon, saves cropping. So it's great, it take, takes a little work out. So next thing you wanna do is you actually want to create like a collage essentially. So you want it short on top, long on the sides, so that it, you know, it fits into that nice area like that. Um, and it's just the perfect size. So I don't know if this explanation is gonna make sense or not, but the size that I use is 800 pixels by 2400 pixels. I happen to use Photoshop to do that. Now you can use other programs. You don't have to use Photoshop. You can use Canva for instance. A lot of people use Canva. Um, that's just canva.com. I, th I think they'll give you a free trial for a while. Um, then, then I think they need to charge you. I don't think it's crazy. So, but Canva is good to have. It lets you manipulate some photos. It also has, you know, this information here, which is basically you can just type in a uh, dimensions that you want exactly, and then you can just drop the photos in there. So that's what's helpful about Canva. You can probably use the co the crop feature on your phone. Probably just crop it down narrow. See if it works. Um, you know, just trial and error, that sort of thing. But what I like about the 800 by 20, the 2400? Yeah, 800 by 2400. What I like about the 800 by 2400 is it's, it's perfect in the sense that when you actually click on the listing, the people buying don't notice a difference. So like you see that this is a, a, a that's a photo of three, right? So, but when they click on it, they just see the individual photos. So this is an individual photo, this is an individual photo, and so on. If they were to click click on this first one, they'll see that it's a, a three up image. So man, this is way too complicated, I think, for what I'm trying to explain. So what's cool about this is on the phone app, all they're gonna see is these images. They're not gonna see a three up version like this. So as far as they're concerned, your listing is business as usual. There's nothing funky about it. They're just gonna see one image. So that's what I like about that aspect ratio. So in Photoshop, I'll show you how to do it in that real quick. I don't know how many people are down with Photoshop, but um, let me show you that. This is what it looks like. My uh, canvas size, is um, 800 by 2400. And I just have a 72 resolution, which is screen resolution. So all you gotta remember, 800 by 2400, it's the perfect ratio. And then all I do is, you know, I just take the photos and they're square, so I just drop them in there, stack them on top of each other. And then I just save this sucker as one image, get it to my phone, email, Dropbox, whatever you got. And then I just make a normal offer up listing. I literally just, post those photos just like I would do anything else, except I make this photo the main image. And that's it, that's all you gotta do. And then it's just a normal listing. So as far as the customer goes, they may look at this and think this is three different listings, but it's just one listing. It's just taking up a lot more room. 
So that's the cool part about it. So this is one thing that I do that has definitely helped. I'm getting more clicks, I'm getting more emails, all that sort of stuff. So this has really helped just having a bigger, larger picture. So I definitely suggest doing it. Yeah. It's been great. All right, so for this next part, we actually need to go into the Offer Up app. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this up on the screen for you so you can see it. This is called Promoted Plus Listings, okay? So this is a service by Offer Up. It's a paid service, so don't freak out, but it is a paid service. And what it is is you pay uh, $19 or so a month, and it adds views to your listing. So it gets it in front of more eyes. Now, if you're just selling one thing every once in a while on OfferUp, this is not for you. So, but if you are gonna make a regular habit about selling things on OfferUp and occasionally selling like an expensive item, this is absolutely worth it. 20 bucks a month is not that bad. What's that, like $240 a year or something to that effect. So not bad at all and it gets it in front of a bunch of eyes and you can actually move Promoted Plus between listings at any time. So you can force it to promote any listing you want at any particular time. You can bounce around, all that sort of stuff. So here we are in OfferUp and I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at our offers and or my offers, I should say. So I'm gonna take a look at my offers and you can see right now on this Nintendo Game & Watch, I have promoted listings selected and you can tell that it's selected by, you know, it says promoted plus. It says promote plus right on top of the listing. So you can tell that I've already paid for that service and it's live on that listing. So let's go ahead and take a look at that listing. So here we are on it and I'll click on item performance. So here it is, it's gonna show the chart. Now, the green line there on the chart, that is what would normally happen on OfferUp. And that's what is happening on OfferUp as far as my item goes. So that's the number of views that the item's receiving. So as you can see, it's a downward trend. And that happens on every platform that you sell on. When you first post it, everyone sees it. After that, it just proceeds to go down and down and down. So in order to keep it in front of plenty of eyes without relisting it, you can do this promoted plus. And so, and I'll probably say this wrong a few times, promote plus, promoted plus, it's all the same thing. So it's just me transposing my words. But um, you can see the yellow graph on here. This yellow graph is the views that I've gotted from promote plus. And so you can see I've got 153 organic and then 201 from promoted so it's quite a boost so it keeps items relevant it keeps it in front of people it's like 20 bucks a month and what it does is it creates almost like a, a an ad version of your listing right alongside your existing listing so people are going to see it twice as often and i'll show you what i'm talking about so we'll go back to my offers we talked about the inflatable ad ad a little bit ago so right now i'm going to click on sell faster and then you can see Promote Plus. You can see it's already purchased. So that's good to go. And then so I am just gonna make sure that that's highlighted. Use Promote Plus, Promote. And then it's gonna go ahead and switch that ad at to Promote Plus. All right, so let's go into Offer Up and check it out. And I'll show you what I mean by two ads essentially side by side. So let's go up to the top and type in Star Wars inflatable. Okay, so on this screen, what you'll see right now is you'll see two uh, listings. You'll see my existing listing, which is on the far left here, and then you'll see my promoted listing on the far right. So now using the tip from before, I'm taking up a lot of real estate on the top of this ad. I'm taking up the far left and the far right, and I've essentially got two ads for one listing. So this has been great for getting clicks and views and that sort of thing. It really raises it up when you do it. And you can leave it on for as long as you want. You can take it off. You can turn it on and off multiple times a day, all that sort of good stuff so you're not stuck with it. Both the ad and the promoted go to your same listing. So it, it, they both go to the same place. And this is what I was talking about earlier when somebody looks at the listing, all you see is the photos. You don't see the weird uh, three-up collage that I made. If you click on that photo, it should be the very first one, but if you click on it, then you'll see that three-up. So that's what I was talking about earlier. So promoted listings are, or promote plus, 
Absolutely worth it. I think it's totally worth it, especially if you're gonna sell several items. So that is tip number two. All right, so the final tip, and this really isn't a tip on like selling more and stuff like that. So I guess I should have thought that through before I said I'm gonna give you three tips to sell more. <laughs> but this is the final tip, and this more involves safety and that sort of thing. So what I found out is uh, offer up, there are a bunch of weird ass people on there. <laughs> Facebook Marketplace, the same thing, uh, a bunch of weirdos. So you never know. And there's a bunch of good people too, don't get me wrong. But uh, yeah, there's strange people that want your phone number and all that sort of thing. I've only had like one bad experience where I wish I didn't give out my phone number and that completely turned me off. And so I've changed what I do. I almost never give out my phone number to uh, anybody on offer up. But if it really has to happen, if it's just, you know, the sales good and stuff like that, but you're talking to some sort of old schooler that has to do everything over the phone or that sort of thing. And it gets down to that point where you've said no, 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 and you're going to lose the sale. Then what you can do is you can give out a temporary phone number. Okay. So to find that app, just go ahead and go to either the Google play store or iTunes or wherever you get your apps on your phone and look for burner phone or phone burner. It's by Ad Hoc Labs, um, and it's something I've been using for a while. You're not doing anything uh, funky here. This is a service that's been vetted, and you just, they give you a temporary phone number. So here's how it works. So you open it up. Whenever you wanna create a phone number, you just create, create burner, and then it's gonna give you some options. So you do have a subscription option, which that will give you the pricing for that. Everything else involves credits and it lets you keep the phone number for a certain amount of time. You get to pick the location that the phone number is from, so if you want it specifically from your area, you can do that. It can receive both phone calls and text messages, and if you buy the right package, it can also receive uh, pictures as well. And then you just give out this phone number. This phone number goes to your actual phone, and it rings through the app, and so you talk through the app. If anything ever gets weird or you want to get rid of that number at some point, all you do is you click burn and burn that number. It's gone and you can start a new one uh, with credits or with your subscription. Everything you've done up until that point, I think it's gone at that point. I can't remember exactly. But I use this when I absolutely have to give out a phone number and there's no other choice. And then when I'm done, I get rid of it. Um, I don't want somebody contacting me later on offer up <laughs> at the phone, you know, just calling me out of the blue. So that's what I do. And I, if you do click on the credits here, like um, we've got, uh, let's see, unlimited text, unlimited minutes, burns in 30 days automatically. So if we click on that second package, it's eight credits. It's going to tell me that I don't have enough credits. Um, so then you just click on add credits. And then from there, it gives you all kinds of options. So it will show you what credits cost, um, or you know, there's the monthly subscription fee, which if you're using a phone number a lot, that's completely worth it. But then you just buy the credits, add it, then go back, purchase what you need. If you just wanna do text only, that's a pretty cheap, cheap one. Um, you know, if you just want text and 20 minutes, that's the cheapest, that's three credits. So yeah, so this is what I use. So like I said, this is more of a safety thing. So, um, but yeah, I highly recommend it if you need to communicate, especially like, you know, marketplace, offer up, Craigslist, that sort of thing. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And I would just wanted to give a few advanced tips, you know, hopefully that helps you out. But these things have definitely helped me get more sales on offer up. It does increase the amount of uh, contact you have. So you do get a lot of questions from weirdos and whatnot. But um, yeah, I mean, that's all part of the game. So I will include a video later. I have to make it. Um, so if you see it at the end of this video, you'll know I've made it. Um, but as of right now, I'm gonna include another video that's just kind of best practices, just kind of keeping your sanity on offer up and Facebook Marketplace, kind of how I do it and that sort of thing, how I um, negotiate and uh, just talk about random things and address, you know, uh, you know, when somebody says, uh, what's the lowest you can go, <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. And just kind of how I deal with 
pickups and drop-offs and that sort of thing. So I'll make a follow-up video to this. So you'll eventually see it at the end of this video. It's not there now, but um, it may be by the time you see this video. So who knows? Yeah, could be at the end. So take a look for it. All right, thanks guys. Like, subscribe, clicky clicky. Um, trying to grow this channel. So if you want to see more from me, please subscribe and please like. Thank you. All right, adios.